There's no Sunday morning wake up like a roofless Lamborghini. Good morning guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to an incredibly early start. This is the morning of our flight home. I've found the best football pitch in the world, right just off Pacific Coast Highway, overlooking the uh, Pacific Ocean. And we're here at a very, very small cars and coffee event. But there was one car that I was adamant that I would see on this trip, and one is here, which is absolutely perfect. It is the Shelby GT350R. Still got the LP610-4 on the side, given that it's got 900 brake horsepower. Beast. As you can see, we have changed location. Now, the first Cars and Coffee that we were going to was the only one that I was going to film. It was quite small, quite intimate, and Sam said that there was another one starting slightly later than the one that we were attending in the morning. So I was like, Sam, you can film that one because Sam's video is basically capturing the last two cars and coffees of our trip in Los Angeles. And because I'm vlogging throughout the entire day, um, it's loud. You'll know the car in a minute. Because I'm vlogging throughout the entire day, I thought that I'd let Sam film this event. However, Things just got pretty serious. So that was the car that was making all the noise. <laughs> this car I've been talking about all week, but not got it on camera. It is a 50th anniversary, lowered, with some mansory bits, got the SV engine vents there and it, this is just the coolest one ever. That was the worst idea ever. Well, the best idea and the worst idea ever. To film all of the cars leaving down there said, do not speed, do not race. I'm pretty sure they all kept to that rule. And as I was coming down, as I was coming up, 
a very kind gentleman gave me a bottle of water out of his Mercedes because I think I look like I'm dying. It's about 31 degrees outside. We have now come for some lunch. We're both starving. We had a 6 a.m. breakfast. We're both absolutely shattered. And we've still got the canyon run to do. We are gonna attempt the most difficult canyon run in Runyon Canyon. This is all gonna get burned off. Mine's not more. <laughs> we're arriving back into the apartment for one last time. We're gonna pack. Sam's gonna drop the rental car back. And then we're gonna go out the canyon. It's pretty steep. <clears throat> That's the other one. And we've got a long way to go. The final climb. We're now already taller than the last climb. <clears throat> and that is it. Look how small people look. It is massive. There isn't it literally no trail I'm just on rocks and that's how steep it is oh probably shouldn't be filming does that mean we've made it at the top there's the top somewhere down there on the other one great way to descend with our legs full like jelly Ooh. oh my god we did it the wrong way This is gonna be really impressive if it actually shuts. Oh, I don't know, there's no way. No? Nope, there's no way. Oh, here's... Oh, I hear something. No. Yeah. It's completely useless, <laughs> completely useless. <laughs> and here's the other car that's gonna be taking us to the airport. It is the most beautifully specced McLaren in the world. So James has organized this little supercar run which will be on his channel. But he's organized two supercars without realizing that Sam has been here for seven and a half weeks and I've been here for about two weeks. So James's Lamborghini and a McLaren 675LT, probably not the best cars to take us to the airport with all of our luggage. So he has arranged for a luggage vehicle to also take us to LAX airport, which is that Volvo right there. So I got picked up from the airport in an orange Lamborghini Huracan Spider and I'm getting dropped off. I've made Sam go with Steve in the McLaren 675LT Spider so that Sam can get a uh, taste of McLaren. I'm more than happy to jump in with James in the Lamborghini and we're gonna get taken to the airport in two supercars. How sick is this? I think James has organized this as a supercar airport drop off rather than Sam's airport pickup. So I'm now hanging outside awkwardly the gate because I haven't got a key, but my bag, two phones, my passport, Basically my life and everything that I need to get on the uh, plane is inside. But Sam uh, didn't leave the door open. Yeah, the saying goodbye. Seven weeks. Bye. Seven damn weeks. Bye, I've only been here too, but... Bye, <laughs> is that even ours? There we go. We go, we've made it, Virgin Atlantic. There is Sam, Sam beat us. 
And ta da! You won! You won! <laughs> we have made it. Oh, we lost. We lost. What happened, James? You ruined it. But there we go. It's the McLaren. Yeah, well, you're, in a, you're wearing a McLaren t shirt. Oh. <laughs> go Lambo. Yeah. We have made it to LAX, and how was that for you? Good, you didn't actually get stopped by security, so quite refreshing. It's successful. I was, yeah. I was actually talking about your McLaren ride. Oh, that was insane. <laughs> yeah, that was mental. Like, I've got to drive out. Yeah, you got to drive out. Yeah. <laughs> so we've made it. We've made it in a uh, pretty cool style. Like everyone in the Virgin Atlantic bit was like, that's so cool. cool. A, lot of people, a lot of people came out and take, took some pictures of the cars, which was pretty cool. So now we're going to find some food, then get on our flight, and uh, then get back to England.